Has any band inspired rock and roll as much as Led Zeppelin? Probably not. Well, we've got 10 rather interesting facts about one of the greatest rock bands in history. Singer Terry Reid passed on joining the group. Terry Reid was a then 19-year-old singer of the band Peter J and the J Walkers. Reid had just been signed by a producer who was looking to make him a solo artist. With that in mind, he told Jimmy Page no, and then suggested that he offer the gig to another singer called Robert Plant, who Reid told Page looked like a Greek god. How many sleepless nights has Terry Reid had since then? Lots. Zeppelin first performed as the New Yardbirds. Jimmy Page, Robert Plant, John Paul Jones and John Bonham's first show together took place at the Gladzax Teen Club in Gladzax, Denmark. The band took to the stage at 5.30pm local time on Saturday, September 7th, 1968, after just 15 hours of rehearsals together, and the band's set list that night included You Shook Me and Dazed and Confused. Led Zeppelin's name came from the Who's Keith Moon and perhaps John Entwistle. In May of 1966, Jimmy Page and fellow Yardbirds guitarist Jeff Beck got together with John Paul Jones, John Entwistle and Keith Moon to record an instrumental tune called Beck's Bolero. And word has it that the results were so good they thought about forming a supergroup. Moon allegedly said that the band would go over like a lead balloon. Entwistle was then to have added, like a Led Zeppelin. For one night only, Zeppelin were known as The Knobs. The name change happened when Frau Eva von Zeppelin, who was a direct descendant of Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin, was apparently very upset over what she believed to be a dishonoring of the family name by the band. So much so that she demanded they change their name, and she got her wish. On February the 28th, 1970, the band did their one and only performance as The Knobs in Copenhagen. Because the band, though, was so popular and critical opinion of the band was so high, the band got to keep their preferred name and were Led Zeppelin from the next show and ever since. Led Zeppelin 1 was produced and paid for by Jimmy Page. Page knew exactly how he wanted the first album to sound and, more importantly, wanted complete and utter artistic control. With Page at the helm of the recording and mixing, the album took about 30 hours and cost Page £1,782. That's about US dollars Not a bad investment, as their debut album ended up making over $3.5 million and still makes money to this day. In the track The Ocean, you can hear a phone ringing. During the track, you can apparently hear a phone ringing at 1 minute 37, and it appears again at 1 minute 41. Now, when asked if this was a real phone, the album's engineer, Eddie Kramer, basically pleaded ignorance. Kramer admitted it was possible that there was indeed a phone ringing as the song was recorded in a house, but also admitted that he didn't hear the phone at the time of the recording. Satanic Messages Hidden in Stairway to Heaven Televangelist Paul Crouch claimed in 1982 that when you played a section of Stairway to Heaven backwards, the lyrics bustle in your head row from Zeppelin's signature tune says this, Here's to my sweet Satan, the one whose little path would make me sad, whose power is Satan. He will give those with him 666. There was a little tool shed where he made us suffer, sad Satan. The truth of the matter is that certain parts of Stairway do sound similar to Crouch's interpretation when played backwards. But, let's face facts, it's just a very, very bizarre coincidence. Robert Plant wrote Going to California about Joni Mitchell. Apparently, Plant was in love with the Canadian singer-songwriter. The song also tells of his worry about working in California because of the state's history of earthquakes. And as if to justify Plant's concerns, there was a minor earthquake while the band were mixing the untitled fourth Zeppelin album, which also, by the way, features going to California. Robert Plant recorded the album Presence in a wheelchair. 
The album Presence was recorded in seriously fast fashion over a period of 18 days in Munich, Germany. Prior to the recording, Plant had been in a car crash in Greece and had shattered his right ankle and elbow and snapped several bones in his right leg. Jimmy Page has explained since that Robert was very, very keen to do the recording, so Plant started the album on crutches, took a fall in the studio, but undeterred, Plant carried on recording the album from a wheelchair. Led Zeppelin only did one TV appearance. This was all about quality control. Zeppelin made only one TV appearance, which was recorded in June 1969 for a French TV station. The reason for this is that following the taping of the show, the band realized that the audio video quality of the TV at the time was low, and no matter how well they performed, they would be at the mercy of the TV studio's engineers. So there you have it, 10 cool facts about the mighty Led Zeppelin. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us at rockmyworld.com.